but it is time to go over some of these Facebook deals that we found. First thing on our list, this is something that he really wants. This is the 1979 Eliminator Spring Jet Bullet. But my favorite thing on the Facebook deals list is this right here. 1970 Ford Mustang, look at that. Guys, there's only a little over two weeks left of this giveaway. This Raptor R along with $30,000 cash. And even though we went down to 20X entries, we got something super special that we're gonna do for the next 24 hours only, guys. We went and bought a bunch of brand new MacBook Airs right here, and we're gonna be throwing these suckers into random orders right there. This is the exact same laptop that I use to edit these YouTube videos, which is dang pretty cool right there, I think. So one of you guys might be able to become a YouTuber just with this laptop right here. But anyways, guys, be sure to check out GoonSquad.com, check out all the official rules, copy some gear, and you might be the one. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Oh my gosh. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the Goon Squad Garage, and today we are looking for a brand new build. That is right, guys. We've actually been scouring the internet, Copart, IAI, and also Facebook Marketplace for something brand new because, as you guys know, we're almost done with this uh, C8 project right here. Literally, all we got left to do, throw in the body panels, throw together some suspension, a few little things here and there, and we'll be ready to take this sucker to fast lane performance in Atlanta. They're gonna tune this sucker because it's got a cam in it now. But uh, what'd you find on Facebook Marketplace, dude? You All find sorts anything? of stuff, man. That's the best place ever. I mean, there's so much epic things that you can get. You know what I mean? <laughs> the, I think you found a jet boat for a cheap price. So we might even have that in today's video. Also, we found a sick classic Mustang. I mean, we got a classic car right there that still needs a little bit of love. But you know what? This other car right here is- It doesn't hurt to have two. It doesn't hurt to have two <laughs> and it's ready to go. And we could drive it as it is and maybe add a different motor in the future, dude. So Some, some epic stuff going on right now, dude. Have you noticed anything cool on Copart recently, no, dude? Copart's been lame, man. Facebook is where it's man. at, guys. No Bugattis, <laughs> no hypercars. What the heck? Where do we find a wrecked Bugatti, guys? That's what we need to do right there. That'd be insane. That dude. would be. But anyways, right now, I guess our main focus is going to be to finish this sucker up. And then after that, we're going to go and probably pick up something new. guys so we finally got our very first test drive with a cam c8 and it only moved a couple of feet but you know what it sounded absolutely insane it almost was bouncing as it was driving but also we threw on all the suspension we had to redo that side over there because we completely forgot our axle shaft seal luckily our parts motor actually had that seal we tossed it on and it stopped that leak pretty much and hey we didn't forget it, it was yes. missing man <laughs> oh, i know it, it literally got ripped out i guess with the old axle shaft and we didn't even know that it oh, yeah. had that dude. i thought the axle uh axle shaft itself was gonna just seal it That's but dude, it was just too. leaking so crazy easy just one two popped yep. everything off 
took that one luckily it was a perfect fit even though yes, these are dude. bigger axle shaft it fit perfectly no leak suspension is done that's the most important thing and now we just focus on body panels yes sir also we pumped the brakes as well dude so we're good there and you guys might have seen us tilting the car sideways and that was because we added two extra cords so you top it off and then for the z51 yep. package you have to basically add two extra cords for everything to function properly because these cars are intended to be pushed harder than the regular oh, yeah. c8 you know they even recommend to install two extra quarts if you're going to track your base model c8 yeah. now if you're going to track yep. it or whatnot it's recommended from chevy to add two extra quarts to get everything cooled i guess properly yep. and functioning on point you know what yep. i mean <laughs> that makes sense but anyways we're going to keep on moving we're going to move on to this rocker panel it's going to be pretty time consuming here we got to get it perfect but once that's done the rest of the body panels are going to be easy dude it's going to sound better with everything on dude, it too sound man. better look better and we're going to have this thing finished up next day here guys and we got that rocker panel on for good and we kind of just let it sit overnight and um, now we're actually trying to figure out what we're about to buy because we definitely want to get something off Facebook and uh, we found a pretty sick uh, turboed Corvette what that's the C6 right there I think C7 C6 I don't know but dude this thing's a beast dude and this is what I found right here <laughs> a rock bouncer so sick I think man the beast too. what would we actually use more I feel like this rock bouncer would be epic up on the mountain Imagine turning this thing into like a drift, a drift build. Drift car, dude, that's Put sick. Put an angle kit and just use it to just do some Dang, messing around. And there's so many sick things on Facebook. It's just, uh, some people are out of town actually, so. People working out of town, you Kinda know. Kind of miss out on some deals here. <laughs> but um, uh, I think we're gonna probably leave this for now because we are gonna run out of time. I think we're gonna try to buy something off Facebook first because we might have to travel like an hour and a half and then we'll get back. Uh, maybe put this thing completely together but i mean it's the rest is going to be super easy and i think we're going to yeah. save the dyno visit for the next video because they're about two hours away as well two hours know? away and they're pretty busy right now because yep i think they're dynoing our track hawk track yes oh my gosh that's gonna be that's, epic, that's right dude. around the corner as well dang i don't know if we even need a new build because the track hawk is going to be a new build but it's going to be insane it's going to be epic either way it goes we're, we gotta i think we're gonna buy something Oh man, 88 is right there. If we can uh, crawl over the, these uh, things right here. You'll have to take the low boy. Man, it's a big trailer, but. That's a rock fine. crawler trailer though. I know, it's gonna look sick. Think about that F-250 pulling a rock bouncer. All right guys, so actually change your plans once again. So we were gonna go out there and pick something up, but we decided that we're actually gonna hold off a little bit because it does take a little bit of time to actually go get something. Cause you gotta message the buyer and then you gotta make sure you have the correct trailer because these rock bouncers are super wide that car trailer is not going to work we got to use the big boy trailer dude. oh yeah so we figured out a hitch system right here because this truck we're going to take this tall boy and i mean it needs a drop hitch so we found this hitch right here threw it on here this would be the best hitch and everything i mean we're ready to go dude. dude we're ready to go but another thing is we kind of wanted to get your guys' opinion we're going to show you guys some of the build options that we have off of facebook and just get your opinion see what you guys want to see and then we'll probably go off of that so i think right now we're probably just going to finish up this c8 instead of bouncing around yep bouncing around easy. you know what i mean we'll be bouncing around here in a little bit dude. yeah but we want <laughs> i mean the c8 is going to get done in today's video we're going to go ahead yes. and knock it out put it all together as much as possible and just get that thing ready to be scheduled in for the dyno
Alrighty guys, check this out. So we got pretty much all the body panels finally on the Corvette and this thing looks absolutely incredible, especially this rear end with that lower diffuser, the Z06 style rear exhaust exit. This thing is just insane looking, the wing and all. I mean, this, I just can't get over it how beautiful this car came out and everything. This whole entire side is finally together with that rocker panel, the quarter panel, the door, everything works flawlessly opens and closes all the gaps are pretty much there i mean there is a few things that we got to adjust like the hood the deck lid here and there but for the most part this thing is is looking pretty much done dude, dude it is so beautiful and all the parts from auto addicts have been lining up flawlessly i mean the rear bumper looks like original bumper yep. right there the front bumper we didn't even fully align it but it pretty much just fell right into place i mean look at that right there perfect Dude, there nothing sticking all the way up around. here perfect gap all the way around here and even on this side as well but dude that looks absolutely insane looks super clean without those canards right there just looks perfect and this car just came out amazing man Dude, so amazing we didn't fully fasten like the lip and the bumper just yet because um i think it might have to come off on yeah. the dyno because it is pretty low i don't know we don't want to fully fasten everything like the under trays and stuff yeah, like that the inner fenders because you never know you could run into a problem something leaks or something you know is loose you want to be able to quickly get in there so we're not going to focus on that stuff until it's dyno it's 100 percent, and then we'll like fasten everything else up dude. yes sir but right now i think what we can do is at least give it a wash that way it rolls over there looking shiny dude, dude. Dude, gotta clean it up this is probably the first wash right this i think so second? dude maybe the first yeah second probably the first right here finish wash <laughs> dude that sucker cleaned up dude in the sun it's insane dude wow. that color dude that color compared to the porsche it's so different that porsche looks yellow now you know what dude, i mean this is sick dude. so sick oh my goodness all the way around that carbon fiber look at that carbon fiber from auto addicts glistening. beautiful just glistening, glistening man this this thing could use maybe a buff and a polish if we really wanted it but we don't want your eyeballs to be gone you know what i mean if we did that man it'd be too bright <laughs> that's true but man look at that right there dude that looks so good can we close that hood we can yeah, but not really no no i got the window oh open. the window is open yeah let's close that dude, hood just get a new battery dude <laughs> look how sick it looks with the blue interior in there dude oh my goodness man insane dude insane this thing dude. is gonna be <laughs> wicked once it's tuned and ripping ripping around yes Alrighty, guys so that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video that sucker is just an absolute neck breaker right there i mean you look at it and you get stuck at that sucker right there but it's ready for the dyno pretty much man we're just super excited about that but it is time to go over some of these facebook deals that we found first thing on our list this is something that he really wants this is the 1979 Eliminator Spring Jet Boat. Look at that freaking rooster strength. Tail. Rooster tail that it's shooting right there. It is super sick, and they only want 11,200. Of course, we, we got it down a little bit, didn't it's we, It's got dude? a small block on it, you know what I mean? We can do some stuff to it, That's dude. pretty <laughs> sick right there. Next thing, I don't know. This one's actually a little bit outrageous, 85,000 for this beautiful Humvee. But I just, for some reason, I just love that. But I, I don't know. I think that might be a little too expensive yeah, for. I mean, that thing's pretty much brand new, but who knows? Maybe too new for us. That's huh? what I'm thinking too. <laughs> but I mean, it's up to you guys as well. But my favorite thing on the Facebook deals list is this right here 1970 Ford Mustang. Look at that back end right there front end it's fully restored uh, i think it's got a boss 302 um small block in it 
interior is mint condition and they want to smoke in thirty two thousand dollars for it dude Dang, that's that, that's pretty dang good man that's pretty cheap right there so oh yeah we about went and picked that thing up but this guy was out of town so he missed out dude. yeah <laughs> but another thing that i think we were actually about to pick up today is uh you want to say a little bit about uh, it you LS know more about bouncer, these man so these are like rock bouncers not uh, not ro i mean you can use them as rock crawlers but this thing is sick it got the ls motor in it it has two tra i mean i guess as i don't really know much about them they have like two transfer cases in them you can crawl slow you can do all sorts of stuff with them fuel cell i mean this thing is a beast dude i think it'll sound so good out in the woods ripping around you know what i mean yeah and the thing is it actually needs some work so it's perfect oh it doesn't it says it doesn't need work but i know we could restore that thing to brand new and we can cam it out cam, cam it out well i think it's already cam oh dude that'd be sick i'm just thinking make that sucker brand new put some sick shocks on Re -powder -coat it repowder coated dude go that'd crazy be with it and you know what it's a decent price as well then there's another rock crawler right here this one's a little expensive thirty-eight thousand, but it is pretty dang but clean but it sits dude. too tall it's like one of those super tall bugs i don't really like it that you know what i mean yeah what about a japanese truck right there dude Man, those those things are everywhere. That's right the now. hype right now. I don't know how I feel about that. What about this right here, Volkswagen Beetle, and we swap the C8 motor in it. The extra motor that we got, dude, that'd be insane. That'd dude. be so I'd sick. Have to extend the back end. What about a forklift? <laughs> that's just something I was looking at for Wait, fun right can there, be dude. Forklift certified, dude. That's epic. This is what everybody. This is what people want right now. Bulldozers, dude. <laughs> what would we do with that? Thing? I don't even know, but those are the options, guys. Let us know what you guys think. Um, Hopefully you guys can let us know tonight because tomorrow we're gonna go pick something up. But oh yeah. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Drop all your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace.